The questions began almost immediately. Soon after state lawmakers decided to buy the old Hewlett Packard facility on Chinden Boulevard in West Boise, the questions range from you want to pay how much to what are you going to do with that place? Well, since 2017, we've seen more of that $110 million purchase take shape. The Tax Commission moved in in late 2018. Other state agencies have also taken up some offices. HP still uses about half of that site, leasing that space from the state of Idaho. Then last week, Idaho's Senate unanimously passed a resolution that would start the process of building a new state veterans home on the property, moving it from its current location near Fort Boise. Well, that's when we started getting questions of our own. Questions like how much land does the state own between Five Mile and Cloverdale, where they want to put the new veterans home? And this one from Betty, who wants to know how they're going to pay for it. We were also asked what will happen to the current veterans home when this move takes place, likely in a matter of years. A little bit of background here. The Boise home opened in 1966. Senator Todd Lakey, who proposed the move, says they've stretched the 156-bed facility as far as they can. Maintenance and repair costs, plus the lack of space to grow on the property, limit their possibilities. Which is why he felt the 200-acre HP campus would be big enough to hold a new veteran's home. And according to the Idaho Press, the plan is to use the 21 acres that are now a hay field right next to the big old office building. More than 7,000 HP engineers and manufacturers of the company's best-selling laser jet printer. So how much will the new home cost and how will it be paid for? Lakey says the preliminary estimate is about $107 million. The Federal Department of Veterans Affairs will pay about 65%, which is about $70 million. So what about Idaho's estimated cost? Well, that's about $38 million, which will come from state bonds and not the general fund. The resolution is now in the House Transportation and Defense Committee, where it's waiting to be discussed. So, to recap, the hope is to move the veterans' home to the old HP site, that's 200 acres the state bought three years ago, for $110 million, and a new home would cost $107 million, 70 of which would come from federal grants. As for the current home, what happens with that space will likely be leased to the U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs and no longer be a health care facility.